All right, we want to spend a little bit of time here to just touch base on the science of the pine pollen. Um, we often get questions about it. Um, pine pollen, we all know, is this really cool superfood that started emerging over the last little while. And uh, I think there's a lot of curiosity on why. Why is it so great? Like, what is it about pine pollen that makes it so much better than most of these other superfoods, or if not all these other superfoods on the market currently right now? Yeah. Um, you know, some of the questions I get, I don't want to get too much off topic here, though, but some people have concerns about pine pollen. Maybe the science will help some address some of those things and maybe bring some, some clarity to some of the people that are curious about it, but might not be interested in buying it just based on the fact of some of those uncertainties in those gray areas. Yeah. You know, there's, there's one level of science which is looking at the nutritional aspect of it. Mm -hmm. What is it actually in terms of an ingredient? What is in this pollen? Uh, and we know that, you know, as a germinating cell, as, as basically the sperm cell of the pine tree, um, it needs to germinate, it needs to grow a burst of uh, a germination tube in order to fertilize this, uh, the pine seeds. Yeah. Um, so uh, in order to achieve that, it packs a lot of nutrients. It packs all the minerals, it packs all the vitamins, um, it packs all the amino acids, and it packs a lot of complex sugars. Uh, along with that, it packs uh, four classes of plant hormones, plant hormones that are growth um, uh, inducing, that are growth burst inducing. Uh, and one of those classes of um, plant hormones happens to be uh, molecules and chemicals that are actually similar to uh, human androgens, uh, uh, molecules like uh, testosterone and DHEA, um, and in fact even progesterone from a recent study that we did on the pollen. Um, so um, nutritionally it's really dense, nutritionally it, it delivers um, a, um, a bio-identical source of testosterone and DHEA, and when you look at the plant kingdom, um, any other thing that delivers this, you would find it uh, a lot in germinating cells, so like mm -hmm. sprouts and things like that. Um, you, you, in fact, you find it in bee pollen, uh, except when, when it comes to pine pollen, it is, it is the most concentrated natural source of these bioidenticals. So that's one level of science. The next level is looking at uh, what has been done in, in tissue studies. Mm -hmm. So like with human cells, um, there, is, there is a whole bunch of studies looking at it as an antioxidant, looking at it, uh, how it can stimulate the immune cells, um, how it can help, uh, you know, setting collagen in, in, uh, in skin tissue, um, it, it, some anti-cancer properties. Uh, so uh, a, lot of, a lot of cool research on that front. Uh, then you come in, uh, you, you look at the, the human models and, and what studies have been done in that area. Um, it, it's been shown to improve uh, um, models that are associated like uh, menopausal uh, models of um, animal studies, uh, prostate uh, growth uh, models of animal studies, uh, cardiovascular health, sugar, uh, sugar regulation. Um, and, and a few other things. And then you get, you get uh, basically three human, human trials that has been done on it. Uh, and those three human trials come out of China uh, essentially because historically the science of, uh, the literal science of pine pollen goes back to traditional Chinese medicine. So um, uh, when, when it was revived in, in China as, as, a, uh, as, a, as a food ingredient, as a, a medicinal ingredient, um, they started doing research with it, and to date we got three. Uh, one is um, uh, safety studies, basically, um, showing that if you were to consume anything more than 15 gram per serving, um, that would be um, roughly half of the, uh, the small um, um, bottles that we have. Uh, you, it, will, it will cause um, loose stools, which mm -hmm. we know that. Like if you have 15 grams of prunes and more, it's going to cause the yeah. stool. So like anything that's high fiber, dense fiber is going to cause that. Um, so other, other than that, it's, it's tolerated well in men and women in all ages uh, as, a, as a commodity, as a food. Um, then there is two studies that are pretty exciting. One is with diabetes and one is with cardiovascular disease. And in cardiovascular disease, you know cardiovascular disease is like a, uh, a lot of cases, it's an aging process, right? Most, most 
Uh, you, you're not going to see cardiovascular disease in, in a 20-year-old unless right. there's a genetic component to it. But as you age, most individuals develop that. So uh, it shows that it, it regulates, helps bring down blood pressure. It also um, ch uh, changes the, uh, um, the profile of the cholesterol uh, towards, towards a less oxidative stress mm. in the cholesterol level. So it helps cardiovascular health. And it also helps uh, sugar regulation in diabetes. So it's got this, uh, this impact on, um, on cellular level, on a nutritional level, but also in terms of uh, disease outcomes. Um, and that, that makes it really exciting. You know, it's, it, it's, there aren't many products out there with the capacities that this can offer in terms of uh, nutritional ingredient, yeah. in terms of a medicinal ingredient. It's also really reassuring knowing that it's that researched. Like, it seems like there's a lot of information that's backing up this product, which is <clears throat> nice yeah, to see. Yeah, and the fact that it's got human studies and it's been studied, it's like when you look at testosterone products or like testosterone replacement products, yeah. whether they're uh, herbs or um, prescription, and there's always this caution about, okay, well, if I'm uh, inducing, if I'm taking a, um, a, a, a hormone, yeah. is it going to impact my own hormones? Is it going to lessen that level? Well, the thing, the cool thing about the, the nutritional studies on pine pollen, it shows that it doesn't just have testosterone. It has testosterone, DHEA, and then it has uh, about 20, 30 different um, uh, brassinosteroids, uh, steroids or, or, or hormones, plant hormones that are similar in nature. So it has a balancing effect yeah. on the hormonal level. Instead of consuming a single sourced androgen, you're taking it the way nature intended it with yeah. like a wide variety of different type of beneficial compounds that should work synergistically together yeah. in order to achieve this this optimization of what your body the should hormones. produce naturally. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. So if you were to summarize it, um, you know, uh, if you look at, you know, this, this pyramid of, of science, on the top you get the, the human studies in safety, cardiovascular health, um, diabetes in terms of its impact on sugar regulation. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if this, this tip of the iceberg grows in the decades to come because it's a really novel novel ingredient. Um, and uh, we're gonna see more of it in menopause and we're gonna see more of it in andropause and um, you know libido and, and, and stamina and even exercise tolerance most yeah. likely. Um, and then there is, um, there is the, uh, the level of the, the cell studies, which, which are looking at menopausal, uh, sorry, um, the, the, the animal studies, which are looking at menopausal models, which are looking at um, uh, cancer models, um, the uh, um, sugar regulation, cholesterol regulation, whatnot. And then you're getting um, the, the cellular studies looking at um, a whole bunch of other uh, impacts in terms of longevity, um, oxidative stress control and whatnot. And then um, I think the, uh, as far as the, the cellular, uh, as far as the, uh, the nutritional aspect of it, uh, we have contributed quite a bit to the science as well by, by, by taking these two uh, sources of pine pollen and breaking down their, their nutritional values and uh, pretty much everything that, that can be tested as far as a, a food we have tested for. Mm -hmm. And as far as the bioidenticals, we've been lucky to, to collaborate with, with a research lab to, to actually uh, assess those in yeah. these two. Uh, to varieties. Yeah, that's been very beneficial for us to get yeah. a better understanding of our product for sure. Yeah, for more videos, check us out at uh, CanadianPinePollen.com. You can check us out on YouTube as well and uh, reach out to us anytime.